Hi everybody, welcome back. Today's movie begins with Max DeRocher, a Los Angeles cab driver. Max has a dream that someday he will he will own a limousine company. Max stopped for Annie Farrell, a federal investigator. While Max driving Annie to her office, Max suggested to take a certain way Annie told that this way will take more time. Max replied that they will make a deal. He will take his suggested road. If it was crowded, he won't take the fare. Are we taking bets? Max asked her about her work giving her an advice to take a break from time to time. Annie asked if he did so. Max replied that he did this many times a day. Annie asked how. Max showed her a picture of a beautiful place saying that when he needs a little relaxation, he look at this picture and try to empty his mind. Annie reached her office and the road wasn't crowded as she thought. Annie gives Max her business card, telling Max to call her if he needs. The investigator. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Later, Max's next fare is Vincent. Vincent tells Max that he is in Los Angeles for one night to complete a real estate deal and offers Max $600 to drive him to several locations. Max was hesitate to violate guidelines. Vincent offered him extra $700. Max accepted. Max drives Vincent to the first location and waits for him. Suddenly, he finds a dead body falls over his car. Oh, no! Vincent reveals himself to be a hitman and the body is one of five requested targets. Then he forced Max to help him hiding the body in the trunk and continue driving. Secret criminal investigator, Ray Fanning, arrives at the building where Vincent made the kill. He uncovers the victim was a police source. At the next stop, Vincent locked Max's hands to the car controlling wheel. Hey! Max asks a group of young men for help, but two of them rob him and stole Vincent's handbag. Vincent finished his mission and returned back to find this guy's. He killed them both and retrieves the bag. Dad. Who is that? Max's boss called him, telling that Max's mother is worried about him. Vincent knew that Max's mother is in the hospital. Vincent insists that Max should go to visit his mother. The umbrella will... Excuse me. Keep the change. Fanning arrives at the hospital to see the bodies of criminal lawyer Sylvester Clark. They met Fanning in the elevator but remain unknown to each other. At the hospital, Ida, Max's mother, acts warmly towards Vincent. She proudly tells Vincent that Max owned a limousine company. Max was lying about her for her recovery. I'm very happy to be here. Just call me Ava. Max steals Vincent's bag, running away and throwing it onto a freeway it messed up by passing cars. The doctor told Haim a note about how the killing process looks the same, indicating that this may be a hitman work. Vincent asked Max if he liked jazz. Max wasn't sure what Vincent mean about that. Vincent told him to drive to a jazz club, so they have a little enjoyment. At the club, after viewing the band, Vincent meets the owner Daniel. They talked about a jazz legend, Miles Davis, and how Daniel joined this art. Vincent lets Daniel know that he came to kill him. Max asked Vincent to let Daniel go. Vincent asked Daniel a question about Miles, telling him if he provides a true answer, he will let him go. We roll. You disappear tonight. I will go so far away. Although Daniel gives a correct answer, Vincent unexpectedly shoot a Daniel in the head. Max getting shocked asked Vincent why he killed him, adding that Daniel's answer seems to be a correct answer. Vincent told him that he is doing his job. I'm not playing. He got the answer right. Vincent lost the information on his last two targets. Vincent takes Max's identity, so the guards won't find it when inspecting him. As Vincent forced Max to meet his client Felix Reyes, the drug lord, to reobtain the lost information. <laughs> Just take comfort Max now. introducing himself as Vincent. He was worrying in tension. He asked Flex about the information, but Flex wasn't sure what Ooh. is happening. He has some doubts about Max. One of Flick's men put his hand on the gun. Max saw it in his glasses reflection. He gains the power and courage as he released that he has no way to act Vincent perfectly or he will be killed. He ordered Flex's man to raise his hand from the gun confidentiality. Then he told Flex that he was Max's client for six years as a proof that he is really Max. Note, this information was told to Max by Vincent. Continuing, 
Max told Flex. He was his client for six years and Max was doing his work perfectly. This time he lost the informations. And this things happens. So he wants the informations again to continue his job. Flex gives Max a flash with the informations. Max leaves. Flex told his men to kill Vincent if he does not complete the job. Who is this? Banning visits FBI agent Frank Pedrosa. Yeah, where are you? Pedrosa identifies the victims as witnesses in a federal grand jury prosecuting Flex. Pedrosa thinks that Max is the hitman, based on watching Max on the cam entering and leaving Flex bar. Fanning wasn't sure about Max as the hitman believing that he is just an unlucky cab driver who forced to be in this case. Pedrosa orders the FBI agents to protect Peter Lim, Vincent's next target. Alexander, club coffee. Max and Vincent arrive to a nightclub, looking for Lim. At the nightclub, Vincent kills Flex men, Lim, and his bodyguards. Fanning rescues Max and getting him outside. Vincent shoots Fanning and returning Max back into the cab. On their escape, Max getting bored enough, and they exchanged insults. Max increased driving speed. Vincent told him to reduce the cab speed. Max willfulness crashes the cab causing the cab flipped over. Vincent and Max regain their consciousness. Vincent saw a police car is coming. He escaped. The police officer finds Max. He give him a help asking him to be calm. Sit down and relax. relax As he is breathe. checking the car he saw the first target dead body in the trunk. Put your hands up. He tries to arrest Max. But when Max notices Vincent's open laptop, revealing that his final target is Annie. Max overcomes the police officer with Vincent's gun. Then he hurried up going to Annie's office building. Stealing a phone then he calls Annie to warn her. He told her to run away from her office. She thinks that he is joking with her. He told her about Flex's case, Vincent and the witnesses who were killed. Annie was in out of her office and watched Vincent from the window. Vincent knew her place going to catch her. He finds Annie getting ready to kill her but a shotgun from Max getting him wounded. Max and Annie escapes. Vincent followed them to the Metro Rail train. Max and Vincent are face to face. Max shooted Vincent causing him a lethally injured. Max and Annie get off at the next station, leaving Vincent dead, riding alone on the empty train. The movie name is Collateral. Thanks for watching. Your support is appreciated.